Hey guys, Emergency here. Today we're going to exploit a Linux box um, through a vulnerable web app in Apache 2.29 called Tiki Wiki. Um, this will help you practice. It's always good to do these things, um, different exploits on different boxes, because everything's different and it gets you used to using the tools and the proper procedures and helps you understand exactly what's going on when you are exploiting. So instead of doing something through a port scan, you know, this is a little different with actually getting into the PHP of the web server and allowing yourself to gain access that way. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and do nmap on my vulnerable system. I do see that port 80 is open. Uh, that was just a very brief scan. So let me go ahead and do nmap. I'll do a sin scan and a version scan. So this will give me a little bit more detail about the box and the services running on it. So the more information the better. Okay, so it looks like we have an outdated version of Apache, um, a vulnerable FTP server. Um, just because I'm used to this here, this is used a lot. Um, some other things, good. Alright, so let's go ahead and since this is port 80 here, let's see if there's anything on the hosted on the web server. Okay, it just looks like it's a basic, um, just a basic Apache install. There's nothing we can do with this, but since it does have a web server, let's see if we can find anything interesting. Um, I am going to use Nick2 today. It is a web scanner. Um, we'll get to see exactly what it does now. Um, it's under Pentest Web Nick2, and it's a Perl based program. If I can spell it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit H for hosts. And there we go. That's the all that just says run this on host and whatever host you specify. And then it'll go ahead and find if there's any vulnerability known vulnerabilities for the web server you're running. Sees it tells us Apache 2.29 appears to be outdated. I think we could even use Directory Buster, which I'm not sure where that is. Let's see if I can find it real quick. There it is. Okay, we'll go ahead and run this while we do the other thing. ahead and use multiple threads here. We will use the small directory list and we'll hit start. Okay, so we'll let that run and right here we got some good information. It's going to tell us that it just does look like it has a vulnerability. Uh, Tiki Wiki contains a vulnerability which allows remote attackers to execute arbitrary PHP code. Alright, so let's go ahead and Google this, see if we can find anything. Okay, we'll go here. Okay, it does look like it's uh, on our version here. Um, let's actually go ahead and verify that it is on our server. Tiki Wiki. All right, it is indeed there. there. Uh, Tiki Wiki v1.9.8. So this is a f an exploit. Let's see. Looks like there's a Metasploit module for it. Okay, this one right here, maybe. Alright, so let's go ahead. Alright, now look at this. This shows us Tiki Wiki right here. So that would just tell us that that's where we need to go. So we could go ahead and stop it, and that would show us the directory we need to go into, which we already went into Tiki Wiki. Alright, 
So let's go ahead and search for Tiki Wiki. Man, I can't type, can I? Okay, since it was vulnerable to a remote PHP code execution, we'll go ahead and use this one. Um, if you're ever interested in getting more info about an exploit, you can always type info on the exploit. And it'll tell you everything about it, who wrote it, what its rank is, um, and then a lot of references and a description. It's great to do. Shows you your options. Now we always want to show paid loads that we have available for this certain module. Okay, looks like we got generic shells, generic re, uh, reverse TCPs. Let's go ahead and use the PHP interpreter reverse TCP. So I'm going to set payload here. Let's go ahead and show options. All right. Great. So we're going to set G our host. Set G sets global, so I'll never have to type our host again. It, it uh, sets the whole framework to know what the R host is. So if you're going to use different auxiliary exploits, modules, things like that, you don't have to keep typing your R host in over and over. So let's set the L host to the IP of my backtrack machine. Now I could also set that global since that's my going to be my backtrack machine, you know. Very good things to set globally. Now this is going to send a PHP reverse um, interpreter reverse TCP connection back to port 444 on my backtrack box. So that port does need to be open. And let's go ahead and exploit. Okay. All right, great. Looks like it worked. Okay, I'm on it. Let's see if we can do something real quick. All right, great. There's password right there. Okay, now I'll show you the command line interface way to do this. It's a little, it's pretty leet. Um, instead of going through the console and doing all that, we can set up our entire exploit with one command line command. It's pretty slick. So I'll show you guys how to do that now. This is MSL command line interface. It should be by default. And if we want to know, you know, what exploit we were using, we would have to know that exploit or remember that exploit to get us started here. So it looks like we used exploit slash tiki wiki underscore graph underscore formula underscore exec and then we're going to go ahead and do an O to get the options for that exploit which actually I think we want to do let's do P because we want to get the payloads for that exploit Hmm. Okay, doesn't look like it worked. Let's make sure I spelled it right. Let's make sure it's right on my thing here. Yeah, I did not type it right, so that's what you would have to do. You're just going to have to know the, web, the way of the basic exploit just by either searching on Google and looking at the actual um, update or the actual exploit. Uh, it should tell you in the Metasploit one you know what module it is so we can actually do mfcli and dash h is going to show us 
all kinds of modules. That shows us the help. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. This is how you do it anyway. All right. EXE. So we're going to do our host equals, because we need to set the R host for this, 140. Then we have to do this a payload, which is going to be PHP, interpreter, reverse underscore TCP. And we are going to need to set L host back to our backtrack machine because it needs to know where to go. And we're also going to change the L port because we already have a session on this box on port 4444. So we can't set another reverse TCP connection back. We don't have our multi handler set up. So let's just pick a different port here, which I'll pick 1234, and we'll go ahead and hit E for exploit. As you can see, you got E for execute or exploit, O for options, and P for payloads. So if you ever get lost, you can actually put these letters, like right here, I would put, after EXE, I put capital P and get rid of all this and this would show me all the payload all the payloads for this exploit so let me go ahead and hit this this should launch everything we just did through the console with just a one line command Should be any minute now. All right, it loads console. Looks like it's about to open a session, and there we go. All right, there you have it. Um, I'll be doing more exploits um, individually so everybody can get used to all the different programs to use and all the ways to figure out the information where you exploit the box. Alright, thanks.